Alright, so today I've got a brand new mod going on the 80 series, but first, in the world of four-wheel drive wagons, you've got two options. Toyota came out with a tailgate, and Nissan, well, they went a barn door option. Now, look, you could argue each day which is better, which is worse. I personally think there's a third option which is better than both of these, but we'll get to that. But one thing we can't argue, reader access in your Forby is really important, especially if you're setting it up for touring, camping, any of that. So right now, let me show you the tailgate. So the advantages of a rear tailgate. Firstly, it's good access to the whole back of the car. Secondly, you got yourself a seat, you got yourself a kitchen, a workbench, and then thirdly, you got a roof over your head to protect you from rain or anything like that. You get good vision out the back of the tailgate as well when you're driving. You can be parked on any terrain and you're not going to be worried about the doors swinging into any other cars, damaging other vehicles. They're completely fine and stationary. And a lot of people also think the tailgates look a lot better for the 80s in compared to a barn door. But the tailgate also has many cons. For one, that you can't put a tire on it, so it's really hard, almost impossible on this car to actually get on the roof, which is really annoying. You need to have both doors open to really access any drawers or anything down here. Another con with the tailgate, it's actually pretty hard to access things once you got this down. Deep drawer or something in the corner, you can't actually get to it. I think that's my biggest gripe about it is, is its biggest positive can also become its biggest negative, so another thing to consider. And some people could argue it takes a little bit longer to open and close than barn doors, but I'd probably dispute that. So now I've got the barn doors on the patrol. Now already you've got a tire on here, you've got lights, you can put a bin bag on there, you can make it easier to get up onto the car. A lot more options without needing to put on a rear bar like you would on an 80 series. So to access it, it's pretty quick. Some might say it's quicker than a tailgate. I'd beg to differ. But you've got good access once you're in here. Like you can really lean into whatever you want get to it all easy as. Now, on this, you can obviously, because it is a door, you can put a drop down table, like this is what they have, it's bloody good. Um, look, you already got a table on the tailgate, but you get all this easy as space, which, I mean, it can be a pro. It is a bit more claustrophobic than a tailgate, because obviously you got these to walk around, but that's just personal preference at that point. I'd say the cons for this, being on a hill, if you don't have these locked in, they're gonna crush you. Um, that one's lockable, this one's not lockable, so, you're gonna, a lot of people do put like little gas struts on these ones to keep them open, otherwise they keep hitting you on the head. I remember that as a kid. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're all right. They're just a different system. But you do get good vision out the back of these on the patrols. You always had good free vision, so no points off in that category. But I think there's a third contender that's better than both of these rear setups. And, and that's gonna be awarded to the Pajeros and the Prado. So they've just got one swing door, which swings out. It still carries a tire on it. You can put a massive drop down table on there if you want. And if you position your car properly, you can actually act as a windbreak as well. I think it gives you plenty of access room to get into there with still having all the benefits of a barn door, as in putting the tire on the back, lights on the back, etc. But you don't feel that claustrophobia by having this second door here. I think they really nailed the system and I'd love to have an 80 series where it was just one swing away door. The, it's quicker to open, it's easy to shut. One door on the back is the best in my opinion. So I'm sure it's gonna start World War III, but let me know in the comments. Barn door, tailgate, or big rear door, like a Pajero. Let me know in the comments. I wanna know which one's the best and why you think it's the best. But anyway, I'll stop ranting about rear doors and get onto what this next video is actually about. So, new mod for the 80 series. Now, you might have been watching a couple weeks ago, I installed the XR6 seats on Hurricane Fabrication's adapter rails. So that allowed me to put Falcon seats in an, in an 80 series Land Cruiser. Now they saw that video and they said to me, hey, Patrick, do you want to try out some of our other products? I said, sure, why not? Um, you might know them, they do the Hurricane Fabrication tailgate storage mod for the 80 series, where you can essentially cut a bit out here and make it into like a little, they call it a drawer, but I guess you could put like recovery gear in there, like lift up this little lid and you can put different things in it. I think it's an awesome mod. I was very tender to do it, but it has been done a million times on YouTube. You've probably already seen it. So I figured, you know what? I'll try something, something different, something new, we'll mix it up and see how it goes. So they sent me over their 80 series shopping board. So it goes on here. Obviously it's still got all the plastic wrap on everything, have all that to get to take off. But essentially it's a full size shopping board for your 80 series. So what this is essentially is a 10 mil thick CNC polycarbonate sheet. So polycarbonate is a plastic and they basically appear in chopping boards. So it's essentially the same material that this chopping board is really, but on a bigger scale, a lot thicker. Um, I asked them how it would go against hot stuff. 
They said it will start getting soft at about 100 degrees, 110 degrees. So I probably wouldn't even put in a hot pan on it. You can put warm stuff on it, but probably don't put boiling stuff on it because you'll probably leave a mark on it. But this is mainly designed for you know food prep, cooking, and that's what it's going to be for. Maybe how to get here, make sandwiches on the road, you know, sort of or while you're traveling. It's a good bench you can clean off because the factory carpet under here. You try and make a sandwich on that, you're gonna get 30 year old land cruiser carpet in your sandwich. It's gonna get all dirty, it's really hard to clean. It's just, just not great. So this mod's gonna hopefully fix all that, give me an awesome bench to cook dinner off. And um, it's a $200 kit, which I think is pretty, pretty good. And I think you pay an extra 20 bucks. They throw you in a little rivet gun um, because it comes with these rib nuts, I think they're called, which essentially allow it to bolt in to the tailgate. But we'll explain all that later. We'll show you how easy it is to install and um, yeah, get on putting in the mod. So let's get to it. I only first forgot to mention, I did ask them about UV protection because I'm like, well, I'm putting a big plastic sheet on my tailgate. I don't want it to deform, become orange or whatever. But they assured me this is UV protected, so it should be able to withstand the sun perfectly. So that should be all good. All right, so now it's time to install the chopping board. So it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna rip this carpet off. As you can see, mine was, it's, it wasn't too bad considering. Oh, it's starting to get a little dirty though, but for a 30 year old carpet, held up pretty well. So you'll see all these holes here. These is essentially what our rib nuts gonna go into. Um, and what you need to do is actually enlarge these. So they recommend enlarging them to 11 to uh, 12 mil. So as much as I don't like drilling into my car, like. Might not look like it, but I do try and make everything reversible. Um, I am going to need to enlarge these. But however, you can just go and order bigger plastic clips on the internet, which I looked up. So if I ever did want to revert back to carpet, I would just get some bigger plastic clips and that would fit into my newly sized holes. So yeah, that should be no dramas there. So pretty much grab a drill bit, start drilling some holes. So prior to installing the actual chopping board, we did know in the tailgate that it had a slight sort of dish in it. Um, and we're trying to level that out before we start bolting on the chopping board because yeah it's a bit hard to get to these top ones because it is so dished out and dinted so we essentially come up with a way to sort of jig the metal back into position into its original location so we've got a bit of plate underneath and then we've got this big bar here screwed in with the thread and then hopefully by just levering um and twisting that nut down yeah. it should just be able to mechanically pull it up and straighten out our tailgate so even as liam's doing it right there you can see it coming up so the thing is, is to know what's when's gonna... too much that, well, we can always push it back the other way if we have to. But yeah. Very complicated bit of machinery, bit of equipment this, so we've had to generate now A1 shed. Uh, so as you can see, we got a nut and we taped it to a bit of metal. And that's... That's basically allowing us to lever up this bit of metal. Yeah, so... We feed it in through. And make sure that's actually up the way better. Yeah, that's way better. All right, so it's time to drill. So we've got a 12 mil drill bit. Just match it up with basically these rib nuts. So it's gonna be perfect for them. So be careful when you do this. You don't wanna to go too hard and pop a hole or a dent into the other side of the panel. So just be real gentle and nice and smoothly. Just like that. And use ear protection as well. All right, so it's time to put the nut serts or the rib nuts into the actual tailgate. So it comes, you can order, if you don't actually have a rib nut gun, um, I think it's like 20 bucks extra and they send you out a kit with it. So we've got our rib nut gun here. So can we just show you how to set it up and get it ready to start putting in rib nuts? So depending on what size rib nut you are using, I think these are an eight mil. So you grab out your eight mil case, as you can see there. And inside you have this little doodad and a lock nut. You get your gun, you wind this down with the, the short end. There's a thread inside there. Start winding it, then there is actually a little, like a locking, you'll see, uh, I'm gonna show you see how that slides down. Yeah. So you s all the way down, don't have to like just till it's finger tight, let go and that locks it in place so it can't be untightened. Lock nut, pretty simple, over the top. You can screw your rib nut on spread the arms, make sure it's screwed all the way. And then now you're pretty much ready to, you stick that in there and you squeeze while pushing down. Same, similar like you would with the normal rivet. And yeah, so we've never done one of these before. No, is, do you want to do it on? I don't care, do you want to do it? I'm not sure. That's, that's gonna be pretty simple, yeah. I'd say. Let's yeah. just see what happens. So, uh, so you do a pump and then you wind in till it's tight. Do another pump. So once you're confident that it's tight, that you've got it in there good, you then just use this to back it off. 
and we should be left with da -da -da. a hole. Yep. A, th a threaded hole. A threaded hole. And then, obviously, when the time comes, now you've got a spot to stick your stick your little screw, screwy doodads. And that's how you bolt it on. Yep. So now we're gonna go and do that like 15 times. <laughs> Let's get to so. it. All right, so that's the last rib nut into the tailgate. So now we're pretty much ready just to bolt it on. Let's go see, see how it fits up. Do the honors, Liam. It's like a massive iPhone unboxing. Look at that mirror finish that is. Why is that should be on the top? <laughs> Polycarbonate for the win, it's like a mirror. That is. And that, you don't even see that side. That side's going on the, on yeah. the other well, side. Well, it probably yeah. just gets scuffed anyway. So. Yeah. And then this side all has to come up as well. Yeah. It's easiest to do while the. Oh yeah. Oh, that sounds pretty. Oh, oh that sounds. Oh, nice that's finish. nice. <laughs> oh, that actually looks really good. Yeah, wow, that's a that's a nice finish. Da -da -da. Oh, that looks clean, doesn't it? Yeah. Actually, sure, this goes up really well. So to mount the actual chopping board to the tailgate, we got a nice hex head black bolt here, which um is going to insert nicely into here. So it's all going to be a complete flush finish and it should look really good. Mate, it's like a mirror finish. Yeah, it's actually good. Looks pretty good. It does. I reckon. Looks way better than the carpet. You're like, oh, oh I like the way the carpet looks. No, carpet was shag. The carpet look, didn't look that bad. Nah, but this does look a little way better than the carpet. Yes. Yeah, like and you don't like way better than the so carpet. more usable. Yeah. It weighed in about four kilos too when we weighed it. So that's how much she roughly weighs. But yeah, nah, it's all come together. Look. Really flush finish. Let me close it. Yeah, up. see how it closes up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh no, it all lines up. Yeah, no, nah, mint. You know what comes next? Try for meal on it. So the Hurricane Fabrication tailgate's been on the 80 for a few weeks now, um, but how has it held up and how has it actually been like to use? Well, I've been using it a lot, and I'll show you. So in terms of being an actual bench to make sandwiches on, do work, it's absolutely perfect. It's so much more practical than having the carpet on. Like being so much easier to clean, it, it just makes it so easy. And I use this tailgate so bloody often that it was just a no-brainer over the carpet. So you can definitely see that the polycarbonate isn't as clean as when I first put it on. It does have some scratches, some marks on it, but it's a chopping board that was to be expected. But I don't think it's a big deal. It doesn't really hinder it at all. Um, you don't really notice. And I much prefer to use this as practical, you know, actually being able to cut stuff on it um, and clean things on it. And that's what I want it for. And it's absolutely perfect for that. So love it. So tailgate, barn doors or big doors? Remember to let me know in the comment which one you prefer. The tailgate is growing on me. After putting on this mod and it being so much more usable as a workbench and as a cooking platform, um, definitely is growing on me. The Hurricane Fabrication Chunking Board mod is definitely a mod I'd do on your 80 if you got one and you do use it for cooking breakfast, lunch, etc. It just makes it so much easier, um, so much more usable, um, and you're more likely to actually get out there and make a sandwich on the road. So, highly recommend. Good product, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers for watching.